on Daytime Buffalo. Come here of Greater Buffalo stops by to talk about their mental health mentor program. And fall is fast approaching. We've got the 411 on fall fashion in the 716. It's all coming up right here on Daytime Buffalo. Hello and welcome to Daytime Buffalo. I'm your host, Chelsea Lavelle. Joining me now in the Daytime Buffalo studio is Compeer of Buffalo. Welcome Lisa Johnson, Chief Strategy Officer, Lee Thomas, Mentor, and Tyreek Mentee. Thanks so much for coming in, you guys. Thank Thanks for having us. us. Okay, why don't we start about talking to you, Lisa, about what mentoring program does for Compeer. Absolutely. So everyone deserves to have someone in their life that they trust and can build a really great friendship with, mm -hmm. someone they can rely on and brainstorm ideas with and, and just be a friend. And so that's the important part of our one-to-one -one mentoring program. Now this is, there's a school-based mentoring program, right? Yes. Tell me about that. Yeah, so the school-based program is um, working with middle school and high school students. Right now we're in about five school districts within Erie County and we have, um, social work students who are interning with us and provide that mentorship um, to about 40 or so students in each school district nice. um, and do individual conversations and, and group mentoring experiences throughout the school year. Now, Lee, you are a mentor in this program. Tell me how you got involved. So, uh, we met through Instagram, actually. <laughs> yeah. My wife and I, we started a new uh, venture together uh, business and we wanted to reach out to compare to invest more into our community and we wanted to be become mentors as well. Nice. And now, Tyreek, you are the mentee. Tell me about what it's been like having a mentor. Definitely got me out of the house, you know. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, summer's been pretty boring, so. Yeah. Having them there to take me places and do things I've never done is just amazing. Can you tell me about some of the things you guys have gotten to do together? Uh, we've, we've painted, you know. I'm, <laughs> oh, that's we fun. Went to a, we went to a place where, um, they offer a painting, and I just made a little something here. Oh, that, okay, so this is one of the paintings that you guys did together? <laughs> no, nah, it's more, I, I just wanted to test my, you know, mm -hmm. the, you know painting skills, so mm -hmm. I just did that just to do it, you know, have something to paint. That's awesome. With the tools, <laughs> I, don't really, I don't really paint at home, so, you know, just to try to test my abilities. No, but that's why mentoring is so awesome, because mm -hmm. you can talk about things and maybe they spark an interest, like, hey, it sounds like you might be interested in art. Would you like to try it? And then you make something awesome like that. That's so cool. Yeah. What has it meant for you to be able to just, like, have someone to look up to? Definitely a new experience. Mm -hmm. I've never really had anybody like that to um, call my friend like that, which really kind of got me out of my shell a little bit. Nice. Uh, you know, what has been your greatest takeaways or impact for either one of you from being in this mentoring program? I would say um, at the time I was very nervous becoming a mentor. Yeah. Um, you know, you go through early, early stages in your life where you feel like you're not ready to become that mentor mm -hmm. because you have your own insecurities. But at the same time, you don't want to waste any time with somebody's, you know, waiting for that mentor at that stage that you already passed by. So um, what I take away from this is that he helped me a lot as well. He's kind of my mentor as well. I have two boys at home, so when they get to Ty's age, I know how to handle them at their current stage. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> now, Lisa, can you tell us more about Comp here and all that you guys do? Obviously, we just got into the school-based programs, but you guys have a lot more, right? Yeah, so Lee and Ty are part of our community-based mentoring program. We have the school-based program, we do social activities for our clients. Um, so Ty and Lee can come and do art nights. They can um, attend a picnic. We last week just had our annual end of summer celebration and lots of people come together for food and camaraderie and good conversation and some great baked goods from Rana Bakery. Um, and then we also have mental health education as well. So we help to um, increase awareness around mental health for community members and, and teach people what to look for if someone in their life is struggling um, and teach people how to be effective friends. I think it's so great that we're talking about this now as we're going back to school because it can be a really hard time. Going back to school is nerve wracking is. and you are meeting new people or seeing the same old people, but you've had a whole summer off. So it can be kind of an uneasy feeling and I think it's a great time to start talking about mental health, right? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And 
the beauty of our program is that it is the simplicity of friendship mm -hmm. yeah. and that dedicated um, and consistent caring friend who you can talk to about anything about fears around going back to school or challenges that might be happening in the school setting or in other phases of life. Now, you kind of touched on it, and for someone that was a little bit nervous about being a mentor, for our viewers out there that think, hey, I might want to be doing this program, but yeah. I'm a little nervous to be a mentor too, what advice would you give them? Um, just take that just take that leap. Um, you're never ready for it, but you really think you're ready for it. So just go for it. Um, Compare is a great program. They have mentors there as well, advisors, to help you navigate through the process. And what would you say? Because obviously you guys have been facilitating and you've met many people like Lee who turns out to be a success story, right? Yeah, absolutely. You don't need any special skills. Yeah. The, the biggest um, skill set that we're looking for is someone who wants to be a friend and can be consistent and present and is willing to step outside of their comfort zone okay. and model that for someone else. Um, so being a friend is really what we're looking for. And everybody knows what it's like to receive friendship. Mm -hmm. And you can do that and give that to other people, which That's is incredible. It's very incredible stuff. Thank you guys so much for coming in, Thank what you. you're doing. Viewers, if you would like to learn more about all that Compeer has to offer, just head over to their website at compeerbuffalo.org. Thanks again for coming in. Thanks, Thank Chelsea. you.